Hi. In today's video, we will learn how to calculate the area of a parallelogram. So, as you can see, I have drawn one grid, which is a collection of tiny squares and where each square is of the dimension one unit by one unit, right? So if we talk about this tiny square, this is of the dimension one unit by one unit and its area is one square unit. This is a square of unit dimension and that is why it is area is called one square unit, right? Why we have drawn a grid? The grid will actually make our job easy and it will facilitate us in understanding the concepts better. So now let's concentrate on our parallelogram. As you can see, I have already drawn one parallelogram. So let's name it. I'm going to name it as A. B, C, and D, right? Now, how to find the area of this parallelogram? As we know, area is the space occupied by a shape on a plane surface. So, space occupied by this parallelogram is this. This is the space occupied by this parallelogram, right? In last video, we have learned how to find the area of a rectangle and a square. But what happens in square and rectangles? In square or rectangles, let me take general case, which is a rectangle. All the angles are 90 degree, right? But here we can see that this angle, this angle is more than 90 and this angle is less than 90, right? So we definitely cannot use the formula of rectangle. So now we have to find something new to calculate the area of this parallelogram. So I'm going to do one thing. I am going to draw a line at 90 degree to this point. Right? So this will become 90 degree and this will become the height. What is the height? Height is suppose if this is a point and this is our earth, the plane surface. So if we want to find the height at which this point is situated, we will draw a line to this horizontal line at 90 degree and then we will measure this and we will know height of this point right so height is actually the length of the perpendicular from point to the horizontal line to the base right so if this is the base and this is the topmost point then this is the height it is the length of a line drawn at 90 degree to the base right so now you know the concept of height. So I have redrawn that figure. Figure drawn in pink, which is A, B, C, D, was our original parallelogram. And we had drawn one perpendicular line from point B to point, let us call this E, right? Dividing our original parallelogram in two parts, where this was one part, right? And this tiny triangle, was another part and both these parts are the original part of the parallelogram right as you can see this triangle has the base as two units and the height as one two three units right and if we remove this triangle from here and put it over here and we'll take one, two unit here as base and one, two, three units here as, as the height of that triangle. This triangle, if we remove from here, we can reconstruct that triangle over here, right? 
and the area of this triangle area of this triangle will be exactly same as the area of this triangle why because both the triangles are congruent congruent means both the triangles are exactly same in the dimensions the base over here was 2 units and here we have ex extended the 2 units and the height here was 1 to 3 units and the height here again is 1 to 3 units right and this angle the angle was 90 degree and this angle was also 90 degree why because BE was a perpendicular line which we have drawn from point B to line BC so both these triangles are concurrent right so this can actually this parallelogram can actually be reconstructed as a rectangle of this dimension let me redraw this image again so it will be something like this this was our original parallelogram which we have converted into a rectangle of let me name it again this was E and this was F so the original parallelogram which I have drawn in pink is got converted into a rectangle of the dimension 3 that is of the width of 3 units and of the length 6 units right this newly formed rectangle has the same area as our original parallelogram had right the newly formed rectangle has the dimension of 3 by 6 right and now let's talk about the dimensions of our original parallelogram if we talk about the length of the side AD it is actually 6 units right so the area of that rectangle we know the area of a rectangle is length multiplied by breadth so the area of the rectangle will be length here is 6 and breadth over here is 3 so the total area will be 6 is 18 square units right and now let's talk about the dimensions of the parallelogram so this is the symbol of parallel line so this way I am writing parallelogram parallelogram has base if we call AB as base the length of the base is 6 units right and height was 3 units the length of BE was 3 units right height that is this much the length of BE is 1 2 and 3 units right so from here we can see that the length of the newly formed rectangle is equal to the base of the parallelogram and breadth of the newly formed rectangle is actually the height of the parallelogram. So we can write the formula for the area of a parallelogram as is equal to base multiplied by height. Right? So this is the derivation of the formula for the area of a parallelogram.